Hey, a little public service announcement today. I don't know any of you watching this or holding Komodo. Uh, and if you do have Komodo um, and you have it in your Agama wallet, you need to go check out the Discord and head over to their support section. There was a vulnerability that was discovered. And the vulnerability would let an attacker come in and sweep your wallet. Now, those of you that don't know anything about the Agama wallet, it is a multi-coin wallet. It doesn't just hold Komodo. It holds ERC-20 tokens. It holds Bitcoin. Obviously, Komodo and all the other coins that have been able to be created from the Komodo blockchain. So... The good thing in the great news, I think, personally, I mean, it's bad that there was a vulnerability, but my gosh, we're talking about uncharted territory here in software, and sometimes there's bugs and stuff, and you don't always catch it, and sometimes you don't always know about every vulnerability because you just don't have everyone looking at it, or some person just happened to catch it looking at it the right way. Anyway, the cyber team, cybersecurity team for Komodo, they caught this vulnerability and they swept the wallets that were vulnerable. Now, I don't know if all Agama wallets were actually vulnerable. I think it had something to do with particular addresses. I didn't dive into it deep enough to find out exactly what happened. Anyway, so you're like, whoa, wait a second. They came in and they took all the coins that were on people's wallets? That's crazy. Well, it's, it, it might sound crazy initially, but uh, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I'm kind of happy that they did that and they're taking care of the people that were needed taken care of. Now they have a form that you can fill out if you open up your Agama wallet and all is missing. Now, I'm not sure how they're going to verify that you had those coins in your wallet. I mean, yes, it is on the blockchain, but there's also private transactions that can go on. I could go on the Block Explorer myself and say, hey, I had this 10 Bitcoin in this wallet, and I sent them to this wallet. I, I'm not sure... How they can sort that out, uh, I would think that some of these guys are smarter than I am, um, and they may be able to figure it out. I don't know. Maybe they could... I don't know if the IP address would be available, but I know the private transaction side of uh, Komodo, I believe it's all built off of Zcash, and they use zero-knowledge proof, so I don't even know. I'm not sure what is available, what's not available. But the bigger point of this is if you do open up your Komo, your Gama wallet and you have coins there, I'd get them off of there. I would, um, I'm, I know they patched it. You can download a another version of a Gama wallet um, and send your coins over to that new wallet, to the new address. You could put them on a Ledger Nano. I don't know if the Trezor holds it, uh, but the Nano, um, I'm sure, is safe. I haven't heard anything otherwise. Uh, there's the Magnum wallet. Um, I don't think it was compromised. I think it just had something to do with the Agama wallet and how certain addresses were created with it um, that allowed some opportunities for what it's worth for an attacker to come in and get your crypto. So, if you have Komodo and you have Agama, go take care of yourself right now. Okay, um, and while you're doing that and you get your Komodo back, I highly suggest you stop on the home page and look at the Antara update. And I'm going to hopefully be able to get a video out to go over my thoughts and everything that they're putting into this, this release. Because I think it's a big deal. So, it is hump day. We don't know what's going to happen with... The markets, well, I can guarantee you they're probably going to go up again. Probably going to come back down and then go back up again. 
So I think I think we're gonna probably see another truck push up between nine and ten k, and then come back down. Um, maybe hang out around seven k, and I think we're due for a thirty five forty five percent correction. I just think that's where things are headed. So anyway, I hope you all are doing well. Don't forget to subscribe. Maybe you don't like me, unsubscribe. That's fine. Uh, but I like all of you. It's fine. Um, and don't forget to uh, hit that like button so this shows up in the sidebar. I actually was looking for something. I was uh, found an um, interesting video about Digibyte and some stuff that's being adopted there. And I saw my ugly little face there in the side. Well, that's cool. Um, probably because people like that video I did. So anyway, I hope you all are doing well. And we will see you all tomorrow. Peace.